Rancho Grande is a remote mountain village located at the northeast of Nicaragua. It is a five and a half hour drive from the capital city of Managua. There are 12 very needy communities around Rancho Grande. What you see here is not poverty, but misery. The children here are undernourished, eating sugar breads, drinking coffee, and consuming other things with little or no nutritional value. Our program here this year has 130 children. Our other feeding center is in Cerro Verde, a small community two hours from Rancho Grande, only accessible by horse. Our faithful meal, Trigo, takes the 100 pounds of beans, rice, and oats up the mountain each time. Here, we are feeding 100 kids in the community. There are children's pastors there to make sure the hot, nutritious lunch is prepared every Monday through Friday, and that three times each week the children get a glass of milk and oats. The pastors also teach the children God's Word and pray with them. Parasite medicines are distributed two times a year. We are reaching these communities because the need is great. This is the mother. Since 8 o'clock, we've been, they've been waiting uh, to inscribe the kids for a feeding center for this year. Uh, we are trying to wait and measure the children so that we can see which ones really need to be fed because we are um, hoping to work with the kids that are the most needy, the undernourished children, the children that are underweight, undersized, and it's a hard, tough decision because there's so many that could really be fed more. What I'm doing is reviewing every child that has been eating here and we're trying to start again with the kids that are really, really underweight, undersized. Usually an undernourished children has like a pale color, yellow color with spots on his face and his rib cage is really noticeable. They bring in their medical records and it's usually tell us if they are anemic. So if they're anemic immediately they are they come into our feeding center. Okay, Areli is 10 years old and she weighs 45 pounds, which is low for her age because usually a 10 year old should weigh at least 50 to 55 pounds. We are going to make sure that she takes up parasite medicines and uh, so that we don't feed the parasites. See the big difference? She is 11 and she weighs 65 pounds. There's a huge difference. You can tell on the size that this 10-year-old Areli needs to come to our feeding center.